Hello and welcome to this tutorial which will show you how to convert remainders into the simplest fraction and into a decimal number. You need to be able to divide really confidently now and understand how fractions work including knowing that the bottom number being bigger means that the fraction gets smaller. If you've got that under your belt let's get started. Before we begin here is a slide for your reference to show you that the fractions as the denominator, the, small, the, the bottom number, gets larger, the, uh, the actual uh, size of the fraction gets smaller. So uh, as you can see, a half is worth 0 0.5 and a half is greater than a third because a third is only worth 0 0.33, a quarter worth 0 0.25, a fifth worth 0 0.2 and so on. As you further go down, the denominator gets bigger but the fraction size actually gets smaller and the decimal gets smaller as well. Over here on the fraction chart, you've got uh, halves. You can see a half being larger than thirds. And a half is, uh, is twice the size of a quarter and a fifth and so on. So hopefully that's a good visual way of representing how, it makes, how a larger denominator makes the fraction smaller. In this example, we're going to divide 833 into 3. We'll find the remainder as well and convert that remainder into a fraction and then into a decimal. So, let's do it with the bus stop method. We're dividing by 3, so the 3 goes on the left-hand side of the bus stop and 833 goes below it. I know that I can get uh, 2 lots of 3 from 8, so I stick 2 here and because 2 lots of 3 makes 6, I carry 2 to the 3 next door. I think in my 3 times tables I can get 7 lots of 3 from 23 with 2 left over. And I repeat that again, I can get 7 lots of 3 from 23 with uh, a remainder of 2. Now that remainder of 2, because we're dealing with the 3 times tables, is the same as 2 thirds. Now we can see over here that 1 third is worth 0 0.33. So I need to double the 0 0.33 to make 2 thirds. So 2 thirds is the same as 0 0.66. So 833 divided by 3 is 277.66, or 277 and 2 thirds. Feeling confident? Then have a go at working this one out yourself. If not, watch on and we will show you how to do it. Now we'll divide 559 into 4. Same method. Stick the number that we're dividing by down first and create a bus stop where the 559 will go. So, how lots of 4 can I get from 5? I can get 1 and I carry one more over to the next door 5. How many lots of uh, 4 can I get from 15? I can get 3 lots because 3 times 4 is 12 I then have to carry 3 to the 9. Then I use my 4 times tables one more time to get as many 4s as I can from 39. I can get 9 4s with a remainder of 3. Now if you know your 25s and you know your quarters, this is quite an easy remainder to work out as a fraction. Uh, with it being a remainder of 3, and it's the 4 times tables that we're dividing by, we've got 3 quarters. And you should know straight away that that is worth 0 0.75. Remember with your reference that one quarter is worth 0 0.25. So 559 divided by 4 is 139.75 or 139 and 3 quarters. One more example for you to either do yourself or to watch along. We're dividing 2531 into 7. I stick 7 on the left, create a bus stop that will fit 2,531. First of all, I can't get any 7s from 2, so I can consider it as a 25. I can get 3 lots of 7 from 25, which is 21, and I carry the 4 that's left over to the next 3. I can get 6 lots of 7 from 43, 6 7s of 42, so I carry the 1 that's left over to the final 1. So I've got 11, and I can get 1 lot of uh, 7 from 11 with a remainder of 4. Now this is more difficult because you've got uh, 1 7th equaling 0 0.14, so you need to multiply that 0 0.14 by the remainder of 4. So let's sort this out. So remainder of 4 
means we've got four sevenths. What I need to do is do 0 0.14 multiplied by 4. If I multiply 0 0.1 by 4, I'll have 0 0.4. And if I, if I multiply 0 0.04 by 4, I'll have 0 0.16. And if I add those two together, I'll have 0 0.56. So 4 sevenths is the same as 0 0.56. Six. Therefore, 2,531 divided by 7 will give me an answer of 361.56. Now you're on your own. Work out the answers to these four divisions, and when you've got the remainder, convert the remainder into a fraction, simplify it if you need to, and then convert that fraction into a decimal number, so you've got a decimal number as your answer. Away you go. Here are your answers, and let's briefly go through them. 947 divided by 4 is 236 with a remainder of 3. So that means it's 3 quarters, and you should know straight away, if you need to, you can use the uh, chart that 1 quarter is 0 0.1 is 0 0.25, so 3 quarters is worth 0 0.75. So the final answer is 236.75. 708 divided by 3 is straight 236. There is no remainder, so that you don't need to have a decimal number at all for that one. So, C, 1,958 divided by 8. We couldn't get any 8s from 1, but we could get two lots of 8 from 19, because two 8s are 16. We've got 244 remainder of 6 as a result. Six, remainder of 6, when we're dividing by 8, means we've got six 8s. We can convert that to 3 quarters, and then it's straightforward. We know that 3 quarters is worth 0 0.75, so the final answer is 244.75. The final question was 4,273 <laughs> divided by 5. The answer is 854 remainder 3. 1 fifth is worth 0 0.2, so 3 fifths will be worth 0 0.6. So the final answer is 854.6. That brings us to the end of the tutorial. If you've got all of those right, well done. If not, have a look through and see if you've gone wrong with either the dividing or understanding how to convert the remainders into decimals and simplifying the fractions. Well done.